since last year and a, a little bit earlier, uh, NASA has retrofitted a, a number of planes and an international scientific uh, team uh, has been put together under Dr. V. Ramanathan at Scripps Institution of Oceanography. They are tracking, starting April last year, there was big articles in the Wall Street Journal and all over the West Coast, though it didn't seem to get the kind of attention I would have hoped. Uh, this international team has been tracking the, the pollution from India and from China, and the clouds really are brown, and I can tell you from living in California for 35 years that it's a, I, we, had, we don't see them here as much, but they're here because we're in a closed loop and what affects one part of the country eventually comes around and hits other parts of the planet. But the pollution is uh, filled with uh, industrial pollution that includes soot, heavy metals, urban exhaust, power plant emissions including more mercury, acid, ash from coal fire plants, home heating stoves, and forest fires. The highly toxic pollution is measured in what are known as teragrams. One teragram equals 2.2 billion pounds of toxic soot and assorted other things that are coming here from China. It takes about a week, give or take, uh, the weather. So in addition to our own pollution figures, we are now getting more than 40 billion pounds of pollution annually from Asia. And pollution figures have doubled over the last 20 years. The U.S. gets the heaviest load of these brown clouds during the springtime and less over the summer. This is a global issue. And we certainly as Americans haven't been stepping up to the plate. A survey report issued by the World Bank in 2007 estimates that there are about 460,000 premature Chinese deaths a year just from breathing polluted air and drinking poisoned water, although this was questioned by an official of China's State Environmental Protection Administration saying that it was baseless. However, the Financial, China, uh, the Financial Times and the Chinese government, which conducted this research in partnership with the World Bank asked that the lender, that is the World Bank, not publish these estimates for fear that it could trigger social unrest. China is beset by growing public alarm about acid rain and toxic water and has promised by 2010 to cut their pollutants by 10 percent, but even last year they failed to meet last year's uh, measurements that they had done. The United States is, uh, got its own shameful, shameful statistics, and I'd like to just give you some of them. Car emissions, which include benzene, which is highly toxic and uh, causes uh, cardiovascular problems and an elevated uh, blood pressure, kills 30,000 Americans each year. The risk of cancer from breathing diesel exhaust that we breathe every day is about 10 times more than ingesting all other toxic pollutants combined, with diesel admis uh, admissions contributing to over 70 percent of the cancer risk from air pollution in the United States. Third, we take the equivalent of smoking 20 cigarettes every day, even if we're non-smokers, just due to air pollution that we're breathing every second. The Boston area ranks number five in the country for premature deaths due to diesel pollution annually. And in the state of Massachusetts alone, diesel emissions are responsible for the following figures of annual statistics. 450 premature deaths, 700 non-fatal heart attacks, 9,900 asthma attacks, 13,000 respirator symptoms in children, and 60,000 lost work days. According to the EPA, emissions from power plants contribute to over 2,800 lung cancers and deaths and 38,200 heart attacks annually in the United States. So this is just a, a little bit of what we are dealing with in terms of figures of toxicity in the air that we breathe every day. 
This excerpt is brought to you by the Massachusetts School of Law, the leader of reform in legal education and the leader in multimedia education for the public. To view the full interview and for a full listing of MSL's programs, log on to mslaw.edu. Thank you.